When I track my cars, I use this iPhone app called Harry's Lap Timer to collect all the telemetry. It does a fairly good job, but I'm not using any kind of uh, extra equipment, so it's using the GPS to track um, where I am on the track, of course, and also the speed. And I've noticed that the speed um, measurements have a lot of inaccuracy, uh, so that uh, I put a camera on my car just to kind of see the behavior. So it's accurate a lot of times, but there's certain situations where it's very inaccurate. So this is what I was looking at. So here's a session that I did a couple days ago where um, I'm going to go out and run a few laps and test this. Here I am about to go on the track. I'm behind the Radical you see up here, which is an exceptionally fast car. I am in the Porsche Turbo S, a 2016 model. So that's the car I'll be driving. So we'll follow him out here and we'll get going. And then we'll switch to the lap in question. So it does pretty good initially, but um, here's where we first get into problems right here. You can see it thinks I'm doing 93, but I'm actually doing 99 miles per hour. Here's another inconsistency. The top box on the left shows the corner at 53, but the bottom box on the left shows 59. Here's another odd one where I'm making this turn, and it's on the lower left in the 50s, but uh, when I unwind the wheel there, you'll see that I'm over 55, and I get up to 73 miles an hour, but it never even sees that uh, time frame. As I come up and over this hill, it's doing a pretty good job of staying within a few miles an hour of what I'm doing. But now you start this long sweeper to the left, and uh, it really gets out of whack about right here. I'm in the 80s, it thinks I'm in the 60s. Uh, I eventually hit 100 miles an hour here, but it never really sees that. See right there, 101 actually. And um, as we come down the straightaway, uh, I'm in 112, 15, I get 118, but it really never sees it. So you can see as far as tracking speed with a GPS in your phone, this isn't the most accurate way to do it. I had been noticing on watching playbacks that the speeds it showed were slower than I knew I had hit because I had periodically look at my speedometer at certain points and uh, I'd see that. Also, you see the hyperbolic uh, change of the miles per hour at various points in the track, which I know I wasn't going slower and faster at the same time. But all in all, I'd still recommend the app because it's not very expensive and uh, it's a quick way to track your lap times.